Hello and welcome to this Hurricane Helene update. It's about 1030. We finally have a new update from the National Hurricane Center uh, and uh, the Hurricane Center. And uh, we have, uh, this is the storm right here uh, making landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida and affecting a very wide area. It's a very big storm as you see here on the satellite. So let's get the latest from the National Hurricane Center. I will have hurricane, extremely dangerous category for our current Hurricane Helene beginning to move ashore. This is the 10 p.m. position update. Helene is producing catastrophic winds that will begin spreading onshore in the Big Bend Air region during the next few hours. This is a extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. People should not leave their shelters and remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. When the eye comes ashore, people are reminded not to venture out in the relative calm as hazardous winds will increase very quickly as the eye pass passes. All right. Uh, we have a water level of 6.18 feet above mean higher water at Clearwater Beach. There's a lot of inundation going on. Uh, Cedar Key also reporting flooding as well, 5.76 feet there it's going to get a lot worse uh location 29.5 north 84.1 west about 65 miles west northwest of cedar creek florida about six, about 65 miles south of tallahassee florida maximum sting winds are remain at 140 miles an hour it's probably going to be the peak of the storm moving north northeast at 24 miles an hour minimum central pressure 939 millibars 27 Point seven two inches. We're going to look at the infrared satellite as well, and then some observations. Um, you can see here definitely that eye. It's really just, and that west side of the storm looks very impressive. Uh, and it seems like it's jogging a little bit. It almost looks like it's moving due north, and that's going to be more of a problem for places like Tallahassee, which are going to get hit with the uh, harder, uh, harder conditions uh, for sure. And uh, a total blackout in Tallahassee is not completely unexpected uh, if, if that if that does happen. Uh, let's look at some of these observations going, uh, that we have right now. Perry Foley Airport, east-northeast wind at 40, gusting to 63. Um, and uh, we have strong wind gusts being reported also. Very far down, too. Uh, 43 miles an hour at Mack Air Force Base. Uh, this buoy has got 17.7 feet wave height here. Um so, again, this is where the storm is. This is where the center of the storm is. Uh, we're going to go look at the radar in a moment here, um, as well as power outages. Uh, but um, it is beginning to move on shore, and I think the land, it will be making an official landfall probably within the next hour or so. Uh, and Perry, it looks like that. That's going to be the hardest hit area. Um, let's go look at some radars right now. Let's go look to the Tallahassee. Um, let's go to the, I'll just go to the AccuWeather. I like the AccuWeather radar because it's a wider radar. Um, so here's Tallahassee right over here. Uh, and here's the storm. And again, um, this is Cross City over here. Um, Cedar Key is all the way down here, by the way. I'm not even getting into the center of the storm and they're getting hit very hard. But, uh, take a look at this. You'll see how it's moving toward Tallahassee, and I think that Tallahassee might actually wind up getting in the western eye wall of this thing. Uh, it seems like it's jogging a little more to the north now, uh, and you can see some of these really strong. These are the these are the bands here that are moving in right now. Uh, Perry is right over here, so Perry's about to get hammered uh, by this band uh, that's going to be coming in the eye wall, uh, and this is the worst part of the storm, obviously. Um, and uh, again, if we if we could just get some. Updated observations. That's the latest observation we have out of Perry Foley. Here's uh, a wind gust to 82 miles an hour, so uh, right at the shore. But again, the worst about ready to come on shore in Florida. Uh, power outage situation. Obviously, this number is going to go even higher. Florida now at 752,000 customers without power. And it looks like some of these counties here that are the Big Bend area, of course, uh, starting to see total uh, total power outages and blackouts and things like that. And this whole area is probably going to be completely without power when all is said and done. Uh, in a few hours from now, I think this will all be uh, almost 100% out uh, with this storm coming on shore.